What's up, guys? Uh, I think it's what time is it right now? It's 12 30, and I just ate my breakfast. I should say brunch. And I just want to, like, it's been a long time, like, like what, two months? I haven't posted anything because I haven't been doing the Uber Eats because. Last time I went there, it wasn't that busy because it's summer and then now uh, there are like more riders and also there are more competition right now in Toronto like DoorDash is taking over, Foodora is there already, right? So, um, lots of people like commenting like what e-bike should I buy or what e-bike, which e-bike I'm using right now, right? And I'm just gonna make this video about which e-bike I use and then yeah that's it then the weather is absolutely amazing like you can see from my place because I live in like what 16th floor that's like the highest of my building you see people are playing basketball and just found out today that Kawaii went to what LA Clippers? Yeah. And this is my corridor. <laughs> my small garden. You guys ready <laughs> to see my electric bike? Here it is. So as I if you watch my earlier video I told that I used to work in Fudora but the thing with Foodora is it's so hard to like you have to make your own schedule and then you can skip it once you make your schedule right because Uber is like more flexible so I'll talk about the Foodora later so this is uh, Amigo Infinite yeah. and the battery is right here so normally when I finish and I go home around like I arrive home at like 10 p.m. I charge my battery like for six seven hours and the next day I go but nowadays I've been slacking like, I haven't worked for so long so I think I'll just put like this Ooh, this thing's heavy right yeah so what I have is here is like the you press like the arm. So so far I rode like five thousand almost two hundred kilometer five thousand two hundred kilometer and this is like the speed as is. This has like six speed, so it can go up to like 30, 35 kilometer per hour. With full battery, it can go up to forty kilometer per hour as well. And this is the throttle is it will go if I press it like yeah. or I can just yeah so people ask me where I buy this one because it's really easy for me because I don't want to like pick up my backpack like the uber is back and it takes me like what It makes me heavy like I got tired like my shoulders gonna be hurt after doing for like five or six hours and I think it's time for me to change this bike mount because you can see like it's all rotten here like you know like broken because it's been like what two years I've been using the same thing I bought it from Amazon it's called cherry tech and this one I recently bought is because I forgot my U-lock in home when I was doing Uber so I, I went to MEC to buy this one it cost is kind of expensive though because it's it's like what like I paid like what 100 110 bucks like just for the lock you know like but it's worth it because since I pay my it, my bike is electric bike is what like I pay like $2,400 it's supposed to be $2,700 after tax since I work with Uber Eats they have the discount code like 15% off 
and i also put my link there where you can get like 50 dollar off if you mention my name yeah and then you get like 15 percent off if you work with uber so about my bike like it's like a battery mm -hmm. it gives me like what like seven nine hours so it in the boat it says like it gives like 110 kilometer but for my experience view uh i can say like it's about like what 75 kilometer because 110 kilometer is normally if you go straight and also only you if you use the pedal as this like you have to pedal it and then the bike's gonna go push push yourself or if you can use the throttle it goes like 70 kilometer i guess because oh the most i did was nine or ten hours but there's still battery left so yeah and the bad thing about the electric bike not only this one like all electric bike because it's battery and on the winter time i rode because i rode i did uber eats on winter time as well when it was snowing because the boost was really high it's like 1.7 that that's where i get like what i make like 30 35 dollar an hour on average on the rush hour time like the dinner time and the lunch time but now i don't know why uber is giving like 1.1 or 1.3 boost because last summer like they're giving like 1.3 1.4 but now all i i can see is like 1.1 like i mean it's not worth it especially like there's too many riders and then because last week i went there and then i had to wait like what like an hour to just to get like two orders because usually if it's really busy i get like uh around uh, i can make do like three trips an hour like you know and sometimes i get like double order so i can so i can do like four four trips per per hour and also like compare from last time uh, i get like tips usually so it would be like two dollar a trip one trip or four dollar you know or uh, maybe like my my re my re it's like my customer service is getting better i guess or also like because i've been using my old bike like the first time i did which is there you can see <laughs> it's like a mountain bike i bought it from walmart it's like a cheap bike like 100 i paid like what 100 180 dollar and then it's a mountain bike right so i was like it was pain in the ass when when i had like the uh, when i had to deliver like when there's like a hill i have to ride but now with the electric bikes my life's getting much easier plus i can travel faster i can deliver their food in time you know and yeah this one i bought it from canadian tire it's not a bike basket actually it's like a laundry basket where there's like a, a cover sleep and then you just put like the clothes on it right so i just bought this and then i i bought this from a dollar dollar store so i can hook it up so yeah okay i think that's enough for my video it's must yeah and then let me see like if you guys want me to make another video on youtube just comment down below i'll do as much as possible and also i forget to tell you like last time my back bike fell from the ttc bus that's why i haven't done like the uber eats for like two one month like more than a month because when it fell from bike my back tire it's like all rimmed up like it's all broken down right so i had to go to the bike store and then fix it which cost me a money yeah because i didn't complain to the tdc customer service because it's gonna take time right so okay let's see you next time Boom. and yeah i forgot to mention that uh some of guys uh, must have used my code right like and then i said like you can get like 300 dollar bonus so I don't want to mention the name but I because when I did Uber it's for the first time and I got the referral code from my friend 
I got like fifty dollar, and some of my like people say like what like uh, they get like ten dollar, right? And then I'm not sure how it works, cause Uber th does this thing. So, cause I wish I could help you, right? But the best thing you can do is like uh, go to the app, and then you can email the customer service or talk with the customer service how it works and then they can explain you more right so and if you're a new uber eats driver or rider you can use my code i'll always put the link in the description below and i guess that's the end of my video and see you next time